Hmm. Coffee. Hmm. I didn't get a coffee mug for the Purple Magic. Purple Magic merch, that's what this is. Prince related or springtime related with the umbrella, the peace and the love sign. You don't have to be a Prince fan or fam or admirer to love this. I got stickers and mugs. Look at that sticker, isn't that cute? So cute, this is a small sticker. I'm gonna put it on my computer. And all sorts of stuff that you can check out. I'll link it below in the Purple Magic merch link in the description here. But this mug is my Hope mug. This is from my Hope line of merch and I love this. This is like one of my favorite. I love the color. Look at how purpley purple it is. You can get this in purple or black. So it's kind of cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk to you about purple magic stuff. What does that mean? Like why is Bridget so into this? Whether you follow me on Above Life channel on YouTube where I channel afterlife celebrity guests or you follow my work on Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube as well where I share inspiring intuitive content. I also do a lot of psychic vlogging, etc, etc, etc. And it doesn't matter where you follow me. I like to, you know, I, I create uh, projects, I get creative projects or ideas and I run with it kind of a thing or I go crazy with it, let's just say that, especially when it comes to Prince. Now, where do you think that started? Oh yeah, like five years ago with Prince, <laughs> okay? Now you might not know this, but Above Life channel, my, my YouTube channel that has like the most subscribers and such, the big like channel that I have, actually came because of my experience working with Prince and his push to encourage me to step out and be a voice for other afterlife celebrities. Not because I'm the only one, but because I have just a different way. I have a different style in communication and connection in the afterlife. And, and it's just like different musicians in, in the same genre. It's the same kind of thing. Like I just have a different voice. and. So, and they all, I was able to really easily connect with a whole bunch of different afterlife celebrity guests. And so that's what Above Life Channel is. You might find your favorite celebrity over there. Go check it out. The goal is always to share inspiring information, to give some kind of reflection about that afterlife spirit's perspective on life, to encourage us then to live our lives, to, to understand ourselves better and to recognize that intuition isn't something for a select few, it's for everybody. We're all soul. We're just living in a body right now. That's fine. You, you don't, it's not separate, it's, it's connected. And so this purple magic stuff is, while it was created from the energy of connecting with Prince, and the retreat and the content is about moving through, utilizing some of those sacred places and the energies that Prince was known for, like his Paisley Park Studios in uh, Chanhassen, Minnesota, like the Lake Ann Park area where he used to ride his bike. While there is that, and there is specific audios, uh, how to connect with him, meditations to help connect with him and such. The huge portion of the Purple Magic is about you and you moving through your own stuff with the assistance of an afterlife friend, like a spirit guide. And Prince is that for Purple Magic. But you don't have to be a Prince fan. You don't even have to be an admirer in order to be able to participate in the purple magic experience. You just might wanna have an intuitive experience being guided by someone like Prince. And that's cool, like you can join. You don't have to be a mega fan. There's not gonna be a quiz about trivia about what you know about Prince because trust me, I was not a fan, like a big fan or anything. Like I've said this so many times before, I was a Michael Jackson fan. <laughs> And now I'm a Prince friend. How about that? I'm a friend, he's a friend. <laughs> and so it's not just Prince immersion time. I mean, it is, it can be for people who are mega fans, but I don't want you to feel like you're not, you, don't, you can't participate because 
it's an awesome experience. And I just went through the content for, there's like two different versions. There's a self-paced virtual retreat that I created content for um, in 2017. And I went back and went through that whole, it kind of mirrors the in-person retreat that I, I've hosted for a couple of years after his passing. And I went through that virtual retreat, just thinking I'm gonna check the, st you know, the stats, the, the links and all this stuff to make sure everything's cool and it hasn't been like corrupted or anything on the other end and technology wise, right? And I was going through it and I'm like, boom, all of a sudden I was in it. And I was like, holy crap. Like I literally had to stop, push pause and stop. Like I couldn't, I had to like get my journals out and go on walks. And I took a day off in the middle of the week, which I was really pressured. I didn't feel like I could do. And I, I just, there was a lot that came up. And so it helps with clearing and helped with healing. It's such a, the purple magic energy is such a healing, just purpose. And it really shifts things. So if you're at all interested, if you're at all comfortable, familiar with Prince's energy, this might be something that you can do for yourself, just for your own healing process and journey. And we will use a lensing of his perspective. And we will, like in the, if you participate in the second level, which is the purple inner circle, then we actually do a live stream weekend in April, which is gonna be so fun, I'm excited. Because <laughs> I need to see my purple friends again, my PRDs, purple raindrops, woohoo, unite. And so I'm looking forward to that. But if you choose to participate in that piece, there will be, you know, channeling with him and, and connection with him in that regard. Not a Q&A, nothing like that. That's not the intent, but it's all to bring in the opportunity for people to have experiences so you can connect and so that you can understand energy from the perspective of an energy of an afterlife soul, energy of your spirit, and kind of move and shift and work through some things. So there's a lot of cool stuff that comes out um, from that. And we use a lot of symbols and metaphors, like we use white roses during our retreat time. And, um, and there's also butterflies that come in for the energy of the retreat. And so there's lots of different levels of connection here for you. So I'd encourage you if you're at all interested, as long as you're not like adverse to Prince, this would be something you, especially if you're intuitive or you're in tune, and even if you're connecting with some other afterlife spirit that's like one of your main spirit guides, then that's totally fine. They can work with you during the process. But I would think about it. Think about participating. Even in the just the self-paced version, that's one little thing. And then there's the purple magic inner circle. That's a whole big thing. So at the very least, consider participating in the virtual retreat. Have that experience. And so for those of you who have asked me and who are curious, I am really, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself like to the fall, but I am really feeling like starting to feel some momentum or interest in maybe using this format with somebody else that I work with. So we'll have to see how this goes because this is a lot of work for me personally, like intellectually too with all the technology pieces because I'm a one woman show. I do all of it myself, everything. Everything from the website to the tracking to the passcodes to the reports to make sure that everything's on the up and up with people that are participating and all sorts. Of, I mean, I do it, you know, I have a little bit of help, but I, I do it. And it takes a lot away from my regular work. And so it has to be, it has to be worth it. It has to make sense business wise, like from a business model perspective, it has to make sense. But if it does, if this one goes well, if there's interest in it, a lot of interest in this one, then I will definitely move ahead and consider doing some things um, with another afterlife celebrity. I'm really thinking about it. I told my husband yesterday, I said, I said it out loud like two days ago. And now I'm like, oh, but I'm not ready to do it yet. I have to see how this goes because I literally need to block off time before I do my live streams and after I do my live streams so I don't have clients. And all. I mean, it takes a lot of physical time, emotional time, mental time, processing, downtime, clearing. I have to amp up my, I have to change my diet. I have to amp up my exercise. I have to, 
drink like what unbelievable amounts of water because I process energy like a crazy person, like fast. And I need to be at my best, most optimal energy processing state and super aware of myself and my own stuff so that I can manage things, you know? So it really challenges me. Something like this really challenges me. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So if you're interested in the Purple Magic information, I will link it below, starting with the merch, Purple Magic merch. And it's made to order, so it's print on demand. So when you order it, I work with the third party vendor and they take care of the, all the stuff. So it's, you're not com it's not coming from my house. Some people I think are a little confused by that. So I wanna say that. And so you can get the Purple Magic merch. That'll be listed below. Plus the two different levels that you can participate in for purchase for Purple Magic services will be the self-paced retreat, which you can purchase that. And if you would rather just do the whole shebang package, that includes the live stream weekend, you can purchase that. That's the inner circle, the purple inner circle. So self-paced, purple magic retreat, one level. Purple inner circle, another level, okay? The purple inner circle does include the virtual retreat, by the way. And you get early access and longer access. So the Purple Magic Retreat itself, the self-paced, um, will open up on April 1st and it will close on May 21st. It's a retreat. It's intended not to be done over and over and over again or over a long period of time. It's intended to do be done over like a two or three day weekend. That's the intention. So that's why you have a limited access to it. But if you're in the purple inner circle, you get access early. You get access on March 21st and then you don't have to wrap it up until June 7th. And the reason for that being in April, we're gonna meet for our live stream weekend and then there might be supplemental resources or, or, or pieces that could help you long after that experience that I wanna make sure that you have access to that. So, because our experience is so much more um, integrated and deeper when we're doing the live stream weekend retreat experience. So that's the purple inner circle, okay? But I'll describe everything below if you have questions with it. If it still seems confusing and you're interested in it, you can always email me. Session requests for Bridget at gmail.com or you can use my up of life channel at gmail.com as well. All right. All righty, everyone. Hmm. Hey, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Thanks for watching.